Hey, hey, welcome back, you guys. This is, uh, <laughs> hopefully this is the finale of this uh, this interesting journey of <laughs> going back to Tucson on this rescue mission. Um, right now we have to pull over so the tow truck guy, guy can um, uh, get behind uh, the truck, uh, uh, my co-worker's truck, so he can um, pull it from the back, um, from the back way. Uh, and on top of that, the, the, the steer tire that's pretty messed up. The tow truck driver, he called uh, have one of his, to have one of his buddies come out and to change that tire out. The tire is pretty bad and it can blow any minute. Uh, so that's why we're, we're sitting here now. Um, and right now, Mother Nature is uh, really kicking up some dust. Um, like I said, this part of uh, I-10 and going through New Mexico, it's a wind tunnel coming coming through here, you know. Right now, I feel like I'm sitting on a boat, rocking and rolling, right? Um, so it was clear, beautiful day. Now there's like clouds coming in, and uh, by the time uh, we get all of this stuff changed out, uh, I'll take their raggedy bumper off of their truck and have them put it on here. We're going, like I said in uh, previous videos now, um, we're going back to the same place where. I just got my truck uh, worked on, serviced at. So I'm going to go hit that guy up straight up and like, hey, man, I lost my bumper. You didn't secure that damn thing, man. This is going to be a claim. I just want to give you a heads up. I probably won't even tell him that. Uh, I might have Dan do that. I told Dan, yeah, go ahead and file a claim, man. This is crazy. The reason why I'm on board with filing a claim is for the simple fact I could have been in the passing lane, right? Um, when that bumper flew off, it would have hit a car. It would have caused that car to spin out, lose control, get hit. You know, I got forbid, you know, a pilot, you know. So that's why, uh, yeah, that's negligence right there. I mean, they did a good job on the truck, but that's, uh, to me, that's considered negligence. I mean, he didn't double check his work. Um, make it so bad, I did. I checked on it, you know, I even wiped off his grease marks, you know. It was stable, but it turned out the screws that hold it in from the inside and it went on there so why he take off the bumper just to change out the fuel filter i guess is as good as mine but he did so i'm not complaining about it you know i'm just pissed because i always think about the what if scenario you know and what if that would have happened you know that part would have flew off the truck because it's a heavy part it would have hit a car that caused that car to lose control we're liable they're liable you know and you know, I don't want to be the co-star of somebody's lawsuit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's this is where we're at now. I mean, God, it was so beautiful out here, guys. But now, look, you know, dust storm. You know, I mean, it was worse than that because we were all outside talking. Um, but I couldn't deal with it, you know. The wind blowing my hair around and all that dirt, you know. So, as you guys can see, we're in the salt flats right there. And worst place for us to be pulled over at. <laughs> um... But yeah, um, so this is where we're at. Uh, we're still here waiting on his buddy to come and change out that tire on that truck. Um, um, I told the tow truck driver I'm not gonna leave. You know, I don't. I never leave no man behind. Um, and he really thanked me for that because, you know, these guys, uh, these are brand new drivers. Um, we had to show them the. How to you know check the, the pressure gauge on the inside so i was giving them a, a heads up i was giving them you know some pointers about these trucks which i don't have no problem at all doing and in fact i gave them my number for them to call me for future uh incidences or anything i just told them to call me if you got any questions call me you know um Call me before you call Dan or somebody, you know, because Dan, you know, they, they have a lot on their plate that they're dealing with many drivers and issues out there. So I told them to call me, you know, text me, call me or whatever. You know, I told them to activate, activate their uh, voice text feature, you know, because, you know, I'm all against texting and driving. So, you know, you activate your voice text feature and uh, type out all that stuff and it go to my phone and I can just do the same thing in return. So yeah, um, their, their tire is really, uh, I mean, that tire really messed up their, 
the whole assembly underneath the um, the undercarriage, uh, the guard, you know, that protects the in the wheel well. All of that stuff is missing. It's broke. The brake chamber uh, for the, that steer tire is broke. The hoses, everything, all the lines is broke. Uh, the brake chamber bracket that holds that little small brake chamber, that's broke. Um, actually, that's bent because of the rubber, you know, uh, from the tire. You know, and it's like the tow truck driver, I agree with him, you know. That's too risky to drive a, you know, tow a truck like that, you know, and with a tire that's, that can blow any minute, you know, which I agree, you know. He thanked me for sticking around by, by his side because technically... It's just him and I out here, you know. Uh, so, you know, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm really gonna educate these guys. Um, uh, I'm gonna educate them both uh, on um, the full functions of uh, of these trucks, you know, because they have a Volvo. You know, I'm gonna <coughs> teach them everything. Uh, they're gonna be good, you know. I mean, they're gonna be good. He was asking me, you know, one of the drivers was asking me about, you know, the brake handle on the inside. I told him, don't you ever touch that, ever at all. You know, if you're curious about it, make sure you're parked somewhere bob somewhere bobtailed, then pull on it. You don't pull on it while you hooked up to a trailer. Um, and it's like, uh, I I told him, you know, because they, they gave me the, the scale, you know, I'm going to show you guys. You know, which is good. That's a good habit that they got. You know what I mean? Because all the Amazon loads... Uh, so far, what I pulled from my experience, none of them are superseding 30,000 pounds. And I told them, hey, if you ever get a load that's, you know, over 29,000 pounds, that's when you go ahead and weigh it. You know, it's still going to be on the weight, but that's a good practice to get into is to weigh your loads, by all means. If it feel heavy, go ahead and weigh it, you know. But uh, check the BOL, which is on the, on the, on the phone. Uh, sometimes they give us... You know, they'll ask us, hey, you want a copy of the BOLs? Uh, I say no all the time because it's Amazon, you know. Amazon's like FedEx, UPS, uh, Walmart. We never have, you know, act the actual bill of lading. But they, they got it. I mean, they're learning. That's okay. That's good. That's a good habit. Like this load here is 28,467 pounds. It, it's light. Okay, that's, that's light. You know I mean? I wouldn't even, I never weighed a load since I've been here. But um, I'm going to show you guys. Right there, it's telling me how much weight is on my drive axles, all right? Right there. That's not that much weight. It's not that much weight on my drive, so there's no need for me to weigh it. And I mean, the load is light. You can feel that it's light. Like when we're limping over here to go over the ramp, to come back right here, I know it's light, you know? It's very light, but it did it right, you know? The, the weights, as you guys can see, this is another indication that you're pulling pretty much next to nothing but like I said that's good practice to get into you see they got 11,300 pounds on the steers 25,120 on the drives and 28,444 I mean 40,000 on you know on the tandems back there on the trailer the combined weight 64,860 pounds that's nothing that's light now you worry when you get some heavy you know real heavy but other than that, I just wanted to keep you guys posted on this <laughs> this mission. <laughs> I feel like we're at Apollo, uh, what's that movie, Apollo 11? No, Apollo 13. The successful failure. <laughs> That's this mission. Uh, but yeah, it's all good, though. You know, we never leave a man behind. I never leave a man behind. So um, I got no choice because I got to take their bumper off and put it on this truck until I get back on this side of the planet, this side of the planet, on this side of the country, and then I'll get a new bumper put on. So, and hopefully on my way coming back, once I get changed out and put their bumper on my truck, I'm gonna be looking hard as hell when I'm coming back, because I'm coming back the same way, I-10 all the way. I'm gonna be looking all on the shoulder and looking for my bumper, you know? I'm gonna find my baby, put it back on, as if it's not damaged. <laughs> but, um, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a heads up on that. Um, and we're really rocking and rolling sitting here. I just hope this buddy hurry up and show up because, believe it or not, I can still get blown over sitting here. Um, but, yeah, um, I'll holler back at you guys. I mean, um, obviously, there's going to be another part to this. Later, guys. <laughs> uh.